Remnant, sons and daughters of God, chosen, the elect. And we're now here in the last days, as you can probably tell if you look around and see what's going on around the world. If you're not stuck on Netflix or watching the, the news or movies or listening to the worldly music, if you're not distracted too bad, you, anyone can um, notice significant changes in how quick they're happening. And I won't go into what they are because we all know what they are and they're all, not, none of them are good. So there's a sign there saying that we're definitely living in the end times. And the reason why things are happening, so many things are happening so fast, the events is because we are in the last days and um, the last days things go quicker because uh, they have to get done before the Lord Jesus Christ comes back and sets up his millennial reign for a thousand years. So we might have another 10 or 11 years left. That's my, my guess, my guess. And that's not to put any fear in you whatsoever. It's just so that you can get ready. You know, this is an end times last days channel. I've done lots of research and I've listened to prophets that actually uh, walk with and see the Lord every single day physically. And uh, one of them actually um, is translated up to heaven to, uh, to, to uh, go, to a, go to meetings on the Council of Abraham. He's a member. He's a living, breathing man, just like us, is a member of the Council of Abraham. And they make, make decisions about the earth, the people of God, the other things that are happening against the earth. He comes back and tells us what the what happened during the meeting and the citizens are made he's, he's known which president who's going to be president obama is going to be president trump's going to be president hundreds of other things cashless society he, he said that was going to happen in 2020 it's happening right now the, the, the coronavirus you know just hundreds of things you know and there's other teachers those, those only teachers i really listen to are Teachers that uh, see the Lord physically on a daily basis, you know, they sit and wait for the Lord, and they, they, and He comes, and they, then they go to work, and they tell what's going to happen now and what's going to happen in the future, and it all happens because it's straight from God Himself. So, check out the playlist in the description, the area below, below uh, the the prophet that uh, sits on the Council of Abraham. Um, his name is uh, uh, Sundar, Savarej, uh, Savarej. Uh, so his uh, playlist is in the description area. Subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up ministry. Thumbs up means other people around the world get to be able to uh, pray, learn how to pray and read out of the Bible and to be able to find out what's going to be happening here in the next few years. It's going to be very, very eventful. A lot of things will be exciting if you know about them. Most of the things are going to be kind of petrifying because um, it's, a scary, it's, a, it's a scary time right now. But if you know about them beforehand when they happen, they won't, they won't shock you. They won't stem you so much. Such as the mark of the beast that will be uh, coming across the earth here in the next few years. I can't tell you exactly when because I don't know. But if, you, if you're if you prepared for it, you won't take it. You have to prepare your mind for things like that. Otherwise, fear. Fear is a, a weapon that the enemy uses to make us do things without thinking. Scare us. Scare us. But um, if you know what's going to happen, then you won't be so afraid. Millions of people, billions, excuse me, billions of people will make the wrong decisions. And... Um, it's going to cost them their eternity. You know, we, and we don't, I don't want to see anyone do that. I don't care if I, if I like them, if I don't like them, if they're my enemy or they're not my enemy. I never want to see anyone make a decision that's going to affect their, the next trillion years of their eternity and even more than that. Unless it's a good decision. <laughs> so the, the, um, the channel will teach you about the cashless society, the mark of the beast, the false prophet. It, it, the false prophet's alive, guys. Very much alive. 
and millions of people know about it. The worldwide, the world, the the the, the news won't tell you that. They they glorify him. He's very very much alive. He lives in the Vatican, and he rules that city called the Vatican. And he's the forerunner for the Antichrist. And he's alive too. No one knows who he is though. But if the forerunner for the Antichrist is alive, you better believe the Antichrist is very much alive too. But um, um, the one world religion, it's already set up. Um, it started, it's just waiting to be implemented. The New World Order has been running this show since the 40s, 30s, 20s. For over 100 years, it's setting this up um, for the one world government to come into pass. And that's all I'm going to say about those things for now. I want to get into um, the weapons that uh, us Christians have. And we need to practice using these weapons every day. Hopefully you're re reading your Bible on a daily basis. Because that that is a... The, the, the Bible is a weapon. It's a it's called a sword, the sword of the Holy Spirit, the sword of God. So when you open it, you're um, you're opening, you're sharpening your your uh, weapon. You see the enemy, the devil, unclean spirits. They have us. Uh, not me, but they have. Most Christians are walking around defenseless when they. When you have all these weapons at your fingertips, at your disposal, all throughout the Bible, there, God, God has so many different uh, forces that you can use because they're inside of us, actually. But they just need to be activated. Once you know that they're there, you can activate them. You see, they're powers. You see, the the Bible says the um, that the that our enemies will. Uh, don't we don't war against uh, flesh and blood, but principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. Well, God has the same thing, but they're all more powerful. They're not spirits of wickedness; they're spirits of righteousness. And powers, powers of righteousness, spiritual, uh, not spiritual wickedness, but uh, spiritual righteousness in high places. And you better believe me; it's a government of angels, and there's armies of them. There's zillions of them. And there you can use these powers by asking the Lord to, to let them rise up inside of you and be around you simply. But you have to know what they are. Some, at least some of them, you know, make, make a list, you know, of them. I have a short list here. I started, I, um, you know, I'm going to increase it, but you know, you make a, a short list and you start asking the Lord to expand these inside of you. You're going to go through some significant changes when you do this. Be ready for change and be, be sure that you're being obedient to God because uh, the changes, um, sometimes they're, they're very uh, dramatic. Some of them are fun, but you know, you're going to be learning as you, as you use these fortresses. Now, we're in Psalms 91 here. It forces as you, and powers. Uh, Psalm 91, let's see, we're going to do this uh, declaration and pray, uh, pray it. And, um, but, you know, the, 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 um, the forces of God, the powers of God should stick right out to you. This one here, most um, high, most high, that is a, that's a power of God. That's a force of God. Shadow of the Almighty, that's another one. These are people. These are personalities. These are real angels, and they have armies. All you need is one. You know, so we can, we go down to number two, and um, the Lord is a power, of course. And you, you, what you do is you ask the Lord to to grow these inside of you, to expand these powers inside of you, and then we have um, refuge. Refuge is a power. That's protection. That'll cover you. Fortress is another one. So now we just we just saw, saw five of this. Is the fifth one. Um, it's all, not even finished the second verse right now. Fortress. If you need a if you need uh, to be covered with refuge or fortress for any reason, you know during the day, you can ask the Lord to to strengthen these inside of you. And I would recommend you you know write out five or ten of them and. 
and pray those every day that the Lord um, help you with those, grow those inside of you and have them around you. You know, refuge is something that you want to be covered with and so is a fortress. You know, it just depends on what you're going through as an individual. Now, we, then we have um, my God. That is another power. God's a power, a force. And trust. Trust is a force. Trust is a power. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. Well, the snare of the fowler is the enemy, of course. So that, that's a power. That's a force. But it's a negative power. It's a negative force. And from a noisome pestilence. Well, a, a pestilence is a force in the power. In the, uh, the noisome pestilence is, is it's a, it's that those are two of the enemy's powers. But our forces and powers of God will defeat those. Because it says surely here, and that's another power. So surely will defeat the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. It's a force. These, these angels come forcefully and righteously, and they work for us. They're actually they're, they're our friends. And you can have hundreds of them um, at, at your side at any given time. It may be even thousands sometimes. Some people just have one or two, you know, at their side because they never really, act, you know, they never really delve into, you know, the Bible or, you know, they, they're just kind of just off on their own type deal. So, but God is, uh, God is wonderful. When you, when you need some forces and some powers, he'll send those to you, whether you know it or not. He, he sends plenty of them to you all the time <laughs> to, to do things for you. Otherwise you'd be dead. The enemy would love to kill you. He's tried many a times and he hasn't succeeded. You might even remember some of them, but most of them you're not going to even know about. Cover thee, cover thee with his feathers. Feathers, his feathers. There's another force. There's another power. Like we're, like we're baby eagles and he's the, the, the big eagle covering us up, shielding us. Under his wings, there's another force. There's another power. Thou shalt trust. Trust is a power. It's a force. Truth is a power. It's a force. Thy shield. Shield is a power. It's a force. And you can just pick pick out the ones that you want to, um, you know, utilize in your life for your own personal situations. A buckler is a force. A buckler is like a belt buckle. You, you wear that around your waist. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. That's a negative force. That's a negative power. That's a sp spiritual wickedness in high places. Bad dreams and such. Ask the Lord to come into your dreams at night, to bless your dreams, to anoint your bed, to set it on holy fire so that you can sleep good. You know, you can fight. This, you, we're at war all the time. You just can't see what's going on around you. If you could see what was going on around you, you wouldn't like it. It's a bloody battle. It's nasty. It's ugly. Demonic forces are very, very ugly. But angels are beautiful. And uh, so uh, it's, it's, and it's, and it's revving up, as you can see across the earth. Um, you know, the, the forces are fighting like crazy right now. There's more angels. Uh, here now fighting than ever before because it is the last days and there'll be there's more coming they have new weapons and uh, they're very smart and they they obey God there's they make great decisions for us so nor for the arrow that flieth by day and there's many arrows that fly by day all the time they have headed head in your direction Ask God to shield you. You know, you can use the the, the, the refuge. You can use uh, the fortress. You can use the shield to let these uh, arrows bounce off of your shield. Because that's a negative force. That's a negative power. But you have to know about these things. 
put the, the pestilence that walketh in darkness, that's a negative force. That's a negative power. The spiritual wickedness in high places. And you can fight that. How, which one would I use to fight uh, the pestilence that walketh in darkness? I'd, I'd use um, that a pestilence would be like a, a, a disease, like the like a plague or something. You know, like a virus or something. You know, I would use the shield of God, the feathers of God, the wings of God, to co so to cover me. The, the I want to be covered with His um, um, refuge. I want to be inside of His fortress so that those things don't bother me or my family, and I stay healthy. Pestilence that walketh in dark. Okay, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand side. <sighs> What are those? Those are a lot of different things. Those are, um, you could call them all unclean spirits. So if you got a, a, a thousand plus 10,000, that's 11,000 down, unclean spirits down. And this is a commandment right here because that's what the Bible is. See, when you're walking in these things right here, 11,000, you can pray at any time and they'll have to back off of you and leave you alone. These are weapons. These are our weapons against the 11,000 that's going to come against you, us. And if there's two people praying, there's going to go 22,000. If there's just three people, there's 33,000. You just, just start adding them together. Ten people, there's 110,000 fall at thy side, 10,000 at thy right hand. That's why I love group prayer. A hundred people. You're going to get, you know. 10,000, you know, 100 or 10, 11,000 down, you see. That's, that's why prayer is so immensely powerful in groups because the enemy, we're slaughtering the enemy. There's many, all these powers up here, these forces up here, got their swords out and they're sticking them, cutting off their heads, burying them, caging them up, chaining them up. Uh, putting them at the feet of God, and God does whatever he wants with them. And we just ask God to keep those things away from us because we're sick of them. But it shall not come near thee. You see? There's another force. There's another power. There's another personality of God. See, after you bind them, after you cage them, after you chain them and set them at the feet of God, it shall not, Lord, it shall not come near thee. See now we now we're standing on God's word. You see, and all you have to do is because the Lord, um, because thou has made the Lord, which is my refuge, even my um, most high habitation. Habit, yeah. Uh, you make God your habit. And he is, and you know that he's your refuge. He's, nothing's going to happen to you, if, if, if not without God's permission. He knows everything that happens. Some things you're going to have to go through in order for you to be built up, to be molded and shaped to be God, what God wants you to do. Every, it's not going to be, um, a, 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 you're going to have some ups and downs, okay? And the downs aren't fun, but those are to build you. That's why we're here. We're in college here on earth. We're in school. And we're we're getting to know God all over again, and we're we're getting ready to to step into eternity to rule and reign with Christ. And you can't be a ruler and you can't reign with it, with uh, at all if you haven't been taught how to do it. And this is how we're being taught how to do it. So make God your habit, make reading your habit, worshiping, praising Him, your habit. You know, even if you still got bad habits, make God your habit. He'll forgive you. you you're, you're, you're a new creation in Christ now. You have his DNA. You have his blood. He's very forgiving. But just keep trying. And so then no evil will befall you. You see, there's another negative force right there. Evil. And God says he's not going to let it happen to you. If you keep trying, you make him your habit. Make him your refuge. The most high. He's the most high God. Neither shall any plague. There's that coronavirus thing. And there's more, more plagues coming on the earth in the future. I hate to tell you that, but it's true. 
neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Now, what isn't that wonderful? That's another, that's a great power to have. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. That's a great personality to rise up inside of you. you know. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. More powers. Angels is plural here. Many powers. I mean, they all have different names and different jobs. They do different services. And like I said, there's trillions of them. Now, I don't know how many there are, but there's more. The number is so large, there isn't a, a word for it, a name for it. You have your tra angels charge over your life, your job, your your property, you know, your family, and keep you on, keep you in your ways, keep you. Just ask to leave. That, that's a that, there's another power right there. Keep thee in all your ways. It'll just keep you on track. You know, you stay in repentance. You do something wrong, you ask the Lord for forgiveness. He'll forgive you right away. Keep you, stay pure. You know, um, stay holy as you possibly can. And when you make a mistake, go to God and say, hey, "Look, I'm sorry. I need help." If you keep making the same mistake over and over, I need help, Father. You're my dad. You, I, I'm going to need your help. And you wait on His help. You might not get it right away, but expect it in the future. Because these angels will bear you up. They'll catch you if you fall or if you trip. They'll bear you up with their hands. Yes, angels have hands, real hands to catch you. You've probably already been caught a few times and, and, and you know about it. But the ones that you don't know about, probably thousands. Because the, the enemy sets traps um, for the people all the time and once you see the one thing that most Christians don't know is that we that we tread upon the lion the adder the young lion the dragon and we trample them under our feet but you have to know this and you have to practice it and that's by using these forces of God using these powers using these weapons if you don't know about it then you're going to get beat up because the, as you can see plainly all of these unclean spirits right here, dragon, lion, snake, you know, we, they're under our feet. You see, they would trick us and have us to believe that they are, 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 are equal or even superior to us. The only way that they can do that is because we can't see them. If we could see them, we wouldn't fall for their traps all the time and we would know that they we that they're under our feet because we just said say get under my feet in the name of Jesus Christ and they that's where they go, they have to. Because of the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus is power, is a force. Use it in the right way, it's deadly, to the lion, the snake, the dry the dragon. And God because God loves you, He set His love on you. He said it, it's inside of you. All of these powers are inside of you. And he, he, he'll deliver you every time. Unless, of course, you're going through a, a period of, of testing, a period of trial where you need to pass the test. And there's many of those. Just realize you, you don't necessarily have to do anything wrong to, to, to be going through a test, to be going through a trial. It's just so that you can get a good grade out of it. If you get a, have a good reaction out of it finally. I will set them on high. He set you on high. Because you know his name. And his name is Jesus. And you can call on him. And he will answer you. He shall call on me and I will answer him. If you wait on the answer. You might have to wait a while. But expect it. One of these days. And I will be with him in trouble. And this is a promise of God. And I will deliver him. Another promise. And these are powers. Deliver. Uh, be with him. Another power. Call upon me. Powers. Forces of God. You see, every word that you speak, the Lord hears. And your prayers, they go into a cup. And they continually talk to God. Your own personal cup. He's able to listen to zillions of those at the same time. 
and with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Salvation is a power. You're saved. You have salvation now. Salvation is always with you. Ready? Mm -hmm. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the noisome of the pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion, the adder, the young lion, the dragon, thou shalt trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for dying on the cross for us. Lord, we love you. And Father, we thank you for forgiving us of every, everything we've ever done wrong in our entire lives. Lord, I'm in my secret. We are in our secret places right now, Lord Jesus, where you are at, the Most High God. We're coming to you, Lord Jesus. And we, we are under the shadow of the Almighty right at this moment. We pray that we stay under the shadow forever. We use, a, we, we use the shadow of the Almighty as a weapon, Lord Jesus, against the enemy to shield us in protection. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. You are our refuge. Have refuge and, fort and, and, and fortress rise up inside of us and cover us from the inside and out, Lord Jesus, all day long, all night long. With trust. This way we can trust you. Lord Jesus, we just want to trust you. We do trust you now, but we want to trust you more and more and more every single day. It's important for our faith to grow, Lord Jesus. So we are at, we're requesting these weapons to be activated inside of this, uh, inside of us, Lord Jesus. And deliver us from the enemy, the snare of the fowler. Set us free. If anything that's unlike you, we don't want it in our lives, Lord Jesus. We got bad habits. We got things we shouldn't be doing. Help us. Help each and every one of us as individuals, Lord Jesus, to get it together for you, Lord Jesus. And keep us from the, the, the noisy pests. Far away from them. We don't want to have anything to do with them at all, Lord Jesus. Whatever they are, whoever they are. Father, cover us with your feathers, with force and power. Keep us under the, your wings, Lord Jesus, with protection. All the all times. Wonderful weapons, wonderful gifts. Thou shalt trust the truth, shall be thy shield and buckler. Shield us, Lord Jesus. We want to wear this shield around our waist and let it cover us in everything that we own, Lord Jesus, and our families. Father, we refuse to be afraid for the terror by night. Come into our dreams. Come visit us, talk to us. Get, make our dreams nice and pleasant. Shield us at night. Bless our beds, Lord Jesus. Nor for the arrow that flies by day, Lord, shield us more. So that the arrows that are shot at us bounce right off of your shield, your feathers, Lord Jesus, your wings, your fortress, Lord Jesus, our fortress. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, Lord, we rebuke the pestilence that walketh in darkness and the destruction that wasteth at noonday and all day long for that uh, matter. We, we cage them. We, can, we pray that you confuse them. Divide them up. 
divide their camps up, cage them up, mute them, muzzle them, gag them, set them at your feet. We do that now. Do whatever you want with them. You can judge them. You can do whatever you want. But keep them far away from us. We don't want to have anything to do with them anymore either. A thousand shall fall at thy side. We take that. And we, we exercise that right and authority right now with the blood in the, uh, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Ten thousand at thy right hand. We also receive that. And we know this. But it shall not come near us. And we love that. The enemy can't come near us, Lord Jesus, because we bind them. He said, whatever you shall bind on heaven shall be bound on earth. Whatever shall be bound on um, um, earth shall be. Well, anyway, so we bind them in Jesus name. And we want to see the problems stop in our lives. We just want to go through what you have us go through. We know we're going to be going through stuff just like Job did. And he went through a lot. Hopefully it won't be as severe as him. But uh, we're going to be tested. We're going to be tried. And we know that. But we're going to do the best that we can. The people will do the best that they can to pass each test. They're going to make note after each test and each trial to see how they did. And um, then we're going to go back. If we, don't, we feel like we didn't pass the test, we're going to go back. You're going to give us that test again at some time. And uh, we're going to see if we can do it right the next time. And we, you are our refuge, Father. And we want you to be our habit. Help us to take time every day to read, to pray, to worship you. Fast every now and then. To grow with you. We want better relationships with you. And the only way to do that is to make you our habit. And turn off the TV, turn off the radio, turn off the music. Shut the door, get the kids out, the husband out, the wife out, the noise, and make and spend time with you habitually. That way, no evil will come on. It's going to come on us. No plagues will come near our bodies, our houses, and we know we need that, and we thank you for that, for giving angel your angels charge over each and every one of us, and keeping us. In all of our ways, it's so important. We love it. How they bear us up with their hands when we dash our foot against a stone. And more stuff. We've been caught by angels, touched by an angel in Jesus' name. And then, Lord, we know we, we tread upon the enemy, the unclean spirits, the dragon, the lions, snakes, even people. Lord Jesus, soulless people. We trample them under our feet and help us to realize that all of the time, Lord Jesus. And use our weapons that you're teaching us and showing us that we have available to us. Have them all rise up inside of us, Lord Jesus, from the core of our beings, the outside of our skin. Let us radiate your light because you set your love on us. And you've delivered us and continue to deliver, to deliver us from the things that do not belong inside of us. And set us on high. You have set us on high. Because we are your children. We are your new creations. Just like you. Lord. You've set us on high. Our spirits are joined to yours. And our spirits are sitting with you right now. And they're also inside of us. So we're sitting in high places with you. Right at this very moment. Just because we know your name. The Lord Jesus Christ. The Father. The Son. The Holy Spirit. And Lord, we love that we can call on you anytime, day or night, 24-7. And that you will answer us if we wait long enough. And we expect your answer and look for it. And thank you for being with each and every one of us in our troubles, Lord Jesus. And delivering us. And honoring us. That's a privilege to be honored by you. And thank you, Lord, for giving us a long life that will... That, um, it satisfies us. We eat, we, we have fresh water, and we have places to sleep. And we're saved. And thank you for saving each and every one of us, now all of your people. And Lord, feed the hungry. Shelter the homeless. Fresh water to the thirsty all around the world. Save every single soul today. Keep everyone 
saved once they become saved. Let every individual on this earth know that you love them very, very, very much. We give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And uh, it's a thumbs up ministry. Go ahead and hit that thumb. Maybe someone in Australia or Africa, just because of you hitting the thumb, will be able to learn how to pray and read out of the Bible. Have a great day in Jesus' name.